I didn't have nowhere to go. I just got kicked out of my family's house. At the time, I was living in Staten Island at a, a group home. You feel afraid. You're nobody in here if you don't have the papers, if you're not legal. I grew up in Bethesda, Stuyvesant, in Brooklyn. It was a tough neighborhood. All the violence, everybody shooting every day. I was with the wrong crowd, just doing negative things. It wasn't good. I got help from my counselors, and they appointed me to the door. The door is the best place for a teenager to be if there's nowhere else to turn. It's a place where you could just get yourself together, and it's free. Before I found the door, I was stuck. You know, I, I didn't think right. You know, I didn't have people to actually push me until I came here. It took three years of homelessness for me to realize I don't want to be outside no more. And now, it's changing for the better. If I wasn't here, I don't know where I'd be. I could be in either or. There's a lot of kids I grew up with who ain't even past the ninth grade. Some kids who ain't, they ain't alive right now. Some kids who's incarcerated right now. It's a whole lot of places I could have been that I would not want to be. So they sent me to the career and education department, and I went on like two job interviews, and I got both the jobs. I kept the jobs for almost three years. My father had passed away when I was a teenager, and my mother had had she got sick, so it was hard for me. I didn't finish school because I was fighting. Once I step into the door setting, it was different. So I come to the door basically every day. You must, I, I must live my life by following what I gotta do, get my GED, my education, and follow my goals. My mom and I came here to the Estados Unidos from Salvador. My mom didn't have a job. We were starving, so we had, my mom had to come here. She wanted to give us a better lifestyle. We met her, so we came here. Can you explain how hard it is to be nobody here without your papers? You okay. cannot find a job, you, you cannot go to college. Nos dijeron que teníamos que venir a la puerta para ser nuestros abogados. The first time like, we went to the court, we were nervous. We didn't know what to say. And you know, the lawyer was there and told us, don't worry, I got this. <laughs> Hi. I have something for you. Oh, Hi. I'm so happy. Then I will go to college. So I want to go to college for physical therapy. I finally, I finally made my decision. I actually want to work with young people. Some people don't have family. Some people don't have passionate people behind them that want to give them that push that believes in them. All it took was someone who believed in me as much as I believed in myself to get me to the next level. If they did it for me, well, I can't do it for somebody else. You can't have hate when you come in a place like this, especially if you have love thrown at you. You can't do that. You know what I'm saying? You got to give the same respect back. I didn't think I was gonna make it. I'm telling you, I'm right there. See, I don't like you type of people that hate on people's dreams. Not at all. So this song is for y'all. Now check it. You didn't think I was gonna make it. Why you kidding yourself, kids? You're playing. See, I'm gonna make it to the top of here. The couple pops running through some obstacles until I make it to the top. Non stop, go get her. I'm a dream chaser. And I'm gonna chase that dream like I chase the paper. See, I'm gonna sweat hard for that clean thing because I don't make that dirty money tomorrow.